Washington State kicking off to start the third quarter. Hank Grenda comes forward. The deep man is Walton, and it's going over to the right side toward Buchanan. Goes out of bounds. After a five-yard penalty for an offside kickoff, Hank Grenda booting again. This time his kick is down the middle. It's going to be taken by Walton at the eight-yard line. He's got great speed. Hit from the side down at the 29-yard line. Number 82, Dave Crema, made the tackle. Spagnola still at quarterback. Hands off the first man through Malone. Bartell rides him down, but a nice gain of uh, six or seven yards. It was a seven-yard gain from the 29 to the 36. Second and three. Schultz made the tackle. Again, Malone. Malone breaks through, got the first down, close to the 40. Malone gained almost 90 yards himself in the first half. First and 10 on the 40, and back to pass Spagnola. Now being chased and might have a little room to run, and does get a gain of five or six yards near the 45. Second down and a long four yards to go. Spagnola, the sophomore, number 11 at quarterback, is doing very nicely to Malone. Malone through the middle, got that blocking out ahead of him, goes all the way to the 40. It's a first down again, call it the Cougar 39. That Malone is tough to stop. He's a very quick hitter. And this time it's to Buchanan on a cross buck, going through for a gain of five more. Ready for the second and a long five play at the 35 yard line. Spagnola handing off to one of his uh, close in backs for a gain of a couple is all this time. Buchanan it was. It's third down, two and a half to go. They're in the four down zone, so if they don't get it on this play, they'll probably try for it on fourth, depending on the distance, of course. Spagnola, Malone, and uh, he's piled up short of a first down, apparently. There was a fumble on the play, and in the pileup, the Cougars recovered to stop that drive and take over on the 31-yard line. Jerry Henderson from the shotgun on first down. And he's going to be in trouble. Throws to the uh, safety valve man, Carmichael, who's down for a loss of very nearly four yards. Apparently he fumbled, but after the whistle. A loss on the completed forward pass of four yards, second and 14 at the 27. And back to pass, Henderson throwing the screen, complete to Carmichael, 30, 35, down. He still has five yards to go for the first down. Big play, third down and six for the Cougars at their 35. Shotgun, Henderson deep, the strength is to the right. And a flag goes down immediately. And the play blocks by the defensive end, Finucci. An illegal procedure penalty declined by Arizona State, bringing up fourth down and six at the 35. Grand a punt. He's done well tonight. And here's another good long punt, driving Randall back to the 14-yard line. One tackler slips, and watch out for him now. Look at him go. 40, 45, cuts back down at the 49-yard line. Well, that was a fine run back by Lenny Randall, a little scat back from Compton, California. And Spagnola running his team from his own 49-yard line. Back to pass on first down, looking for Hooker, and it is incomplete. There's been no scoring in the third quarter, still 28-14, second and 10. And back to pass Spagnola. Little pressure, throws, nice complete to Mann. Mann gets away from Gorton, is tackled by Mark Williams. There'll be a first down near the 36-yard line. And they're scrambling for a fumble after the whistle. That was the first reception of the night for Richard Mann, the tight end. And it's a first and 10 on the 36. That's Walton on the power sweep, cuts back, goes for a gain of nearly five. Second down five on the Cougar 31. Buchanan has replaced Walton. And here's the handoff to Buchanan, running the same place, driven wide, gets away from one tackler, out of bounds, not quite the first down. It's third down, about two and a half yards to go. And again, we point out that Arizona State is in the four down zone. It's inside the 29. The handoff, Malone. Malone is held in a standing position, may not have gotten the first down. The tackler was Sueda. A measurement showed about six inches to go in fourth down, and of course they'll go for it. And they give it to Malone, and he's got the first down easily at the 25-yard line. The Sun Devils keep the drive going. First and 10 on the Cougar, 25. Nine minutes to play in the third quarter. Here's the handoff. Carrying the ball is uh, Buchanan, and he didn't get much there. 
Number 75, Branson was the tackler. Gain of almost three. Second down, a long seven to go. And back to pass, Spagnola throws a little short one. Complete to Malone. He's dragged down on a fine tackle at the 20. The stopper on the play was Dick Schultz, number 40. Now it's third down and five at the 20. And back to pass, Spagnola. Complete. Looks like, let's see. Yes, it is complete, and he's got the first down at the 13. The split end fair hooker was the receiver. This time hooker is split to the left side. And on first down, it's Malone. Malone drives, and he may go all the way. He's down to the one-yard line at least. First and goal. The ball is on the one-yard line. Now they line up Buchanan at left half rather than right. Give the ball to Malone. Malone powers his way down. He's in for the touchdown. Paul Ray Powell trying for his fifth straight conversion, and he gets it to make the score 35 to 14, Arizona State in the lead. Ed Gallardo kicking off. Johnny Davis is deep in the middle, and it's a fine kickoff that's going to go to Davis at the two-yard line. He tries to run up the middle. Got a little room. There he goes, 30. Tries to cut, and still going. Watch him go. He's to the 50. They've got the angle on him. To the 40 and down at perhaps the 39. A 58-yard return by Johnny Davis to the 40. Tom Julian, number 26, made the tackle. And the Cougars charge through, and they're going to get a, a five-yard penalty there. Before the ball could be snapped, the Cougars charged through and made contact. We're nicked with a uh, five-yard penalty. And now here's Carmichael on the first down play in 15, gaining a couple. With second and 13, the Cougars line up in the shotgun. Henderson deep. And a flag goes down. Looked like a back moved. And it is almost an interception, but not quite, by Wes Plummer. The motion penalty was declined by Arizona State. It's third and 13 at the 43 of Arizona State. And back to pass off the tee, Henderson. And he throws, complete to Souza, who's going to be trapped for a loss. Grenda the punter, the receivers are Randall and Buchanan. And he's gonna throw a pass, and it's beautiful catch by Sousa, and he did not quite make the first down. The pass was just a little bit too high for Sousa to keep his balance and get the first down. He wound up a couple or three yards short. So Arizona State takes over, first and 10 at its own 33. They lead 35 to 14. And back to pass, Spagnola throws, it's complete to Buchanan. And Rick Reed knocks him out of bounds after a gain of at least eight, maybe nine. It was a gain of nine, second and one at the 41 and a half yard line. Cougars jitterbugging around and uh, Spagnola winds up keeping the ball and I think got his first down at the 43. Flag went down. An offside penalty against the Cougars gives Arizona State a first down at their 47, and McKinnis is now in at fullback, and he gets the ball and dives through for a gain of four. Engler was in on the tackle, number 55, at second and six at the 49. And off to the second man through, and there goes Buchanan. Look at him scoop. Rick Reed finally gets him at the 31-yard line. Little Dave Buchanan showing some fine running ability here, and this is his first opportunity to play much for the Sun Devils. Up the middle goes the fullback, McKinnis, not much there. Jim Gorton, Bartell, Engler all in on the tackle. It's second and nine at the 30. And the handoff, McKinnis again, busting his way over the middle for maybe five yards. The line of scrimmage is the 26, it's third down and six. And Spagnola to pass, throws, nice catch at the 14-yard line of man. Well, for a first starting assignment, Spagnola's having a good night. On the 14, the handoff, Buchanan, look at him. He's through for a quick gainer down to the six-yard line. It's put at the five-yard line, and uh, there's the ball carrier down to the three. It was Hugh McKinnis. That's good enough for a first down at the three-and-a-half-yard line. 
as Spagnola hands off to the second man through, and not much there, and a fumble on the play. Dave Buchanan recovered his own fumble at the two for a gain of one plus. And there goes Buchanan again, and he's knocked back. He might have gained a half yard or a yard. The ball is actually inside the one-yard line now. And let's see who gets the opportunity. It's McKinnis, and McKinnis, did, uh, did he get in? He did, a touchdown. Powell will try for the 42nd Arizona State point, and he's not good, a little bit off to the right, so the score remains 41 Arizona State, 14 Cougars. After one kickoff in which there were offsetting penalties, uh, Gallardo will boot it again. Johnny Davis is deep, and the ball is going to Davis, who takes it at the seven or eight yard line. Runs into his own blockers, down this time at the 25 yard line. As the Cougars come up with first and 10 at their 25, 22, Glenn Shaw is in at left half. Back to pass, Henderson. A lot of time to throw, and Davis is knocked loose from the ball by Mike Mess, the new linebacker. Ready for the second and 10 play from the 25. Henderson, straight back with good protection. Throws this time complete to Carmichael, who has a first down apparently at the 36 or 7. First and 10 Cougars at their 37. And back to pass, Henderson throws into the flat, complete to Shaw, gets away from one tackler, trying to pick up a block from McCain and from Galinsky, gets to the 40 for a gain of four. It's now second down and a long six to go at the 40 for the Cougars. Henderson to throw. Throwing long bomb for Johnny Davis. He caught the ball with a sensational catch at the 23. First and 10 Cougars at the Arizona State 23, and there's the gun sounding the end of the third quarter with a score, Arizona State 41, Washington State 14. This is the first play of the fourth quarter now. First and 10 Cougars at the Arizona State 23, and Henderson passing, and it's complete to Suksdorf, and then he drops the ball when he's hit by Powell. Henderson has hit unofficially 18 out of 25 on his passing, and some of the ones have been dropped that he has hit. And there's one good to Davis. Uh-oh, he didn't hang on. Incomplete. Now third and 10 at the 23, and Henderson back to throw again. Over the middle and again in the man's hands. Suksdorf could not hang on. Now it is fourth down, and they'll go for it. Fourth down at the 23, 10 yards to go for a first down. And Henderson is going to throw, obviously. And it is complete. Well, did he get the first down? I don't know. Johnny Davis. Davis's diving catch left the Cougars a yard short, so Arizona State has it first and 10 at their 14. And here's Spagnola handing off to Buchanan. His flags go down, and a great tackle by Mark Williams at the line of scrimmage. The Cougars turned down a five-yard penalty, and it becomes second and 10 at the 14. And now we have Steve Ziders, number 12, in at quarterback for the first time for ASU. And he long counts, hands off to his fullback, and carrying the ball, McKinnis, for a gain of a couple. It will be third and eight at the 16-yard line. Steve Ziders is a sophomore out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. He's the new quarterback, and a key play here. He goes back to throw for his first attempt, and they're really chasing him back to the goal line. He throws, and incomplete. Here's the punt by Roseboro, high and fairly short. It's going to bounce near the 40, and caught as a fair catch by Field at the 41-yard line. The ball is actually just outside the 40. First and 10, good field position for the Cougars. And Henderson with a quick pass to the sideline to Davis, trying to get him a little room, and he goes for a short gain of maybe as much as five. The gain was for four to the 36, second and six. Shaw and Carmichael are the setbacks. And Henderson backs up, throws, too low and incomplete. On third and six at the 36, 
Ewan has replaced Carmichael in the backfield as Henderson throws long, intending it for Freddie Moore, and it is incomplete, almost intercepted by Julian. With nothing to lose on fourth down, the Cougars go for it, and Henderson throwing long again for Johnny Davis, might have a chance. No, Julian knocks it away. Sun Devils take over first and 10 at their 36 after the incompletion. Ziders is the quarterback, number 12. Hand off McKinnis up the middle, bust through for three yards. The Cougars have some uh, number two men in there on defense now, like Terry Durst and J.D. Smith and uh, Dan White. There are some others also. It is second down and a long seven to go. Ziders. Handing off Buchanan, and uh, he gets one or two yards more. Third down and seven, uh, just under 12 minutes to play in the game. Arizona State with the ball, leads 41 to 14. And Ziders to pass, throws long downfield, and uh, nobody can get close to that one. On fourth and seven, punter Roseboro takes a high snap from center and gets it away. And it's a short kick, fair catch call for by Greg Field at his own 37. Washington State turned down a penalty and will take the ball where it is at the 37-yard line. And back to pass, Rich Olson, number 11. He throws, got a man in the open, oh, and overthrows Davis, and tough luck because Julian had fallen down. Here's the second and 10 play from the Cougar 37. And Olson to pass again. Now he's got a little running room down the sideline, gets a short gain before he's knocked across the sidelines. The gain, the gain was for four yards to the 41, brings up third and six, and, and a fumble on the handoff. The Cougars recover it, I think, for a loss. No, Arizona State. Linebacker Bob Davenport fell on the ball. It's first and 10 on the Cougar. 34 and Ziders is still at quarterback handing off and there's a flag goes down carrying the ball McKinnis for not much five-yard penalty offside against the Cougars first and five now at their 29 and the handoff McKinnis he's tripped up and falls down fumbles and we'll have to wait and see Sure enough, Washington State recovered the fumble at its own 28. Rich Olson, number 11, is at quarterback. And handing off, carrying the ball, is uh, Del Carmichael, powering his way for about four. Call it a gain of five to the 33. Second and five at that point. Olson with the fake and the bootleg. Gets a block, throws, and off the fingertips of Johnny Davis. It was actually thrown behind him. Carmichael and Ewan are now both in the backfield as running backs on third and five as Olsen goes back to throw. Got a man in the open and then he drops the ball, Carmichael, uh, rather Ewan. Hank Grenda back to punt. Ten minutes, 37 seconds to go in the game. 41-14, Cougars trailing and as one thing they've been doing tonight, it's been uh, punting that ball beautifully. But here's Buchanan who's ever dangerous. He's whacked down at the 29-yard line. Number 53, Mick Lynch, made the stop. He was the center who snapped the ball. And it's first and 10 at the 29 as Ziders goes back to pass, complete in the flat to Carruthers, who's really racked back and tossed down by Peterson. The forward progress was allowed to the 32, a gain of three in the play, second down and seven. Jim Peterson from Wenatchee, number 31, made the tackle initially. And there's the draw play, carrying the ball, McKinnis, 40, spilled across the 42, and we'll have the first down there. First and 10 at the 42 of the Sun Devils. Ziders, the quarterback, hands off to Buchanan, who's forced deep, tries to outrun him. Mark Williams gets him along with Schultz. There's a new wing back for Arizona State, the extremely fast J.D. Hill. He's the wing back off the left end, number 20. His first appearance in the game after being uh, kind of demoted. And there's the ball. Inter oh, Mark Williams had an interception and couldn't hang on. It's now third down and 15 yards to go. 
Ziders straight back and has good protection and throwing long down the field and in knocked away by Mark Williams. Roseboro, Ed Roseboro back to kick and it's a low twister that's going to be taken by Greg Field at the 27 and a fair catch. A new quarterback for the Cougars, number 10, Hank Grenda. Richard Lee Smith is also in, number 21. And here's Grenda throwing and intercepted by Paul Powell. The interception gives the Sun Devils the ball first and 10 at the Cougar 34. Zyder still at quarterback and looked like a man in motion. And the play doesn't get much anyway. A penalty was refused by the Cougars, making it second and a long eight to go at the 32-yard line. And there's a handoff up the middle. McKinnis struggles, gets about five yards, maybe six. Call it a gain of five, bringing up third and a long three at the 27-yard line. Ziders. Hands off the second man, Buchanan, and he's close to the first down, but I think a yard short. Okay, fourth and a yard to go, just inside the 25-yard line. Ziders waits, hands off to McKinnis, and I think he's got the first down at the 22 and a half. The ball spotted right at the 22. Dave Berger made the tackle, first and 10. Ziders, the quarterback, number 12. And McKinnis over right guard to the 20. Time to play, six minutes, 50 seconds in the game with Arizona State having the ball and a 41 to 14 lead. Second and eight at the 20. And Ziders gives it off to Buchanan who's dragged down by J.D. Smith. Loss of a yard to the 23 as defensive end J.D. Smith, 91, made the tackle. And he's from down this general part of the country, Brawley, California. Ziders handing off to Buchanan, who's going to throw a halfback pass way short of Hill, the intended receiver. It's fourth and 11, and they're going to go for it with Ziders waiting for the snap. And back to pass. Good protection. Throwing toward the end zone, and I think they're going to call pass interference, and it's a good call. Well, the Cougars definitely hit J.D. Hill, the receiver, a little early there and spun him around, and it's on the two-yard line, first down, and the quarterback sneak by Ziders. Oh, boy, he's racked back. No gain for Ziders, second and goal at the two. Shown 35 has replaced uh, Schultz at rover back. There's McKinnis. Flags go down. He's to the one. After a play in which both teams were offside, offsetting penalties, still second down and two. Ziders, McKinnis, and he didn't get much there. Okay, set to go again. The ball is at about the one and a half yard line. Third down. The handoff McKinnis, close. No signal for a touchdown. He did not get over. Well, Branson, Berger, White, Bartell, Bendix have all been in there in these stops. Now it's fourth down. And they give it to Buchanan, and Buchanan is close, but I see no touchdown signal. The Cougars take over. After a terrific goal line stand, the Cougars are in dangerous territory, and there's Richard Lee Smith slanting off right tackle out to about the two. The ball is just short of the three-yard line. Henderson is the quarterback, by the way, and Henderson back to pass in his end zone and throws a long one down the field, flags down. Johnny Davis has it and is dragged down at the 45-yard line on the far side. Forget about that beautiful pass and catch. Offside and illegal procedure against the Cougars and Henderson to pass again, throwing. And Davis makes the diving catch. It's complete to the two, the 12-yard line and may be a first down. It is a first down at the 12. Henderson 
Back to throw. And a screen pass complete to Richard Lee Smith. And he's tackled a beautiful tackle. Down he goes at the 14-yard line. Connolly, the defensive end, 35, made the tackle on Smith. And now in second down and about seven, there is a long pass to Davis, way overshooting him this time. It's now third down and seven at the 15. And from the T formation, Henderson back to pass. Throwing, complete to Freddie Moore. So one of the backs fell down. He's got a first down at the 29. Davis, who was out momentarily, is back in as one of the split men. He's flanked to the right side as Henderson goes back to pass. First and 10 from the 29. Throwing to Davis and incomplete as that pattern was messed up. The reason the pattern got messed up, Arizona State was called for pass interference. First down at the 45 as Henderson drops the throw. And this is two, almost picked off by Julian away from Armstrong or away from Thatcher. Now in the shotgun is Henderson on second and 10 at the 45. Jerry waits a long time and almost intercepted. It was intended for Richard Lee Smith. Now it is third and 10 at the 45. Henderson dropping to throw. And complete and spinning with the ball is Thatcher and getting away from tacklers. Look at him go. 35 down at the 34 yard line. Cougars line up without a huddle to try to run a quick play. A minute and 51 seconds to go in the game, and they'd like to get on the scoreboard again. The clock starts to roll now. Almost a false charge through, but the flag goes down now as Henderson will throw. Being chased, throwing long downfield for Thatcher, and it is intercepted, and then run out of bounds was the interceptor on the play, and that is Julian. Well, the crowd of more than 36,000 disperses now at Sun Devil Stadium, and that was the way things went here at Tempe, Arizona on Saturday night. Coming up next for the Cougars, a couple of Pacific 8 conference contests. On October 19th, Stanford meets WSU at Spokane. The following week in Pullman, it's Oregon State. Neither one is going to be easy. We'll have the Stanford game films for you next Sunday at 6 o'clock. Rod Belcher reporting from Tempe. The final score again, Arizona State 41, Washington State 14.